Hi guys, the turkey's done. Look how beautiful. It's perfect. So I'm going to take it out and I'm going to show you how to cut this bird up. I'm going to show you how to make some gravy and I'm going to show you how to cut this bird. I took it out. There's a lot of pan juices in here. But what I have, I put a cheesecloth in a bowl because I'm not actually going to use um, the vegetables and the herbs. I just want the flavor from the juices that leaked out of this beautiful turkey. Peacock. Pour this out now. Oh, you couldn't believe the smell of this. It's amazing. This smells great. Smells great. Okay. You just squeeze that. Get dirty. You're in the kitchen. It's fine. Leave that there. You're going to put this into another pan. And we're going to put this in here over medium high heat. Just pour this in. And it's so dark, the color is beautiful. And then I'm going to mix some flour with this with a little bit of um, water. Dilute it and then I'm going to throw it in, get it nice and thick. But that's going to be in a little while. Let's get back to the turkey and we'll cut it up. Okay, you want that joint to pop. I'm going to top, but guess what? It's worth it. Look at this. It's so juicy. <laughs> so basically, in medieval times, this is how they would do it. Beautiful. Look at this dark meat. Mmm. Put this other way out. Mmm. It's nothing like getting messy in the kitchen. It's so good. Mmm. Oh my god. That's amazing. Just pull that leg down. You'll hear it pop. You'll hear it pop. But honestly, I don't know why people don't like dark meat. Look at this. I mean, and honestly, dark meat has more rhioflavin, niacin, vitamins B6, 12, amino acids, iron, has way more than white meat. Dark meat also contains about 11 times more zinc than tuna and about three times as much iron than raw spinach. Of course, white meat is much leaner and high proteins than dark meat. Afraid of saturated fats, just take the skin off. That's it. I'll pop that bone out. You heard that? I'll just tear. I'm just popping that leg right out. Get dirty. It's the kitchen. Have fun. Look at that. Love it. It's hot too. Oh wow. Well. Yummy. Mmm. Look at this dish already. Fit for a king. So, of course, I don't want to waste any skin. I'm just going to put that aside for later. But look at all those herbs. You see them? Come down. Pop this white meat off. Come underneath. A big piece of breast, just like this. And rip that off too. Beautiful. It's a little hot. When you cut and serve a breast, you want to go against the grain. Like so. Mmm, yummy. Let's get to the gravy. Okay, so I have two tablespoons of flour. You could use cornstarch, whatever you have available as a thickener, and a cup of water. So we'll just put it in here. And mix that up. See the color of this? It's beautiful. 
Mm. Oh my God. No, that's not normal. It's too good. <laughs> that is so good. Oh my God. So this is it. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Medieval Turkey, Veronica style. Um, I know back in medieval days, um, they used to pull back the feathers before they would cook a peacock and then they would pull it, pull it back down when it was finished and present it that way. So of course we don't have that on this turkey, but I do have the skin. So I'm going to pour that lovely gravy all over the top of this meal fit for a king. And I'm going to lay that skin back over the top to keep it nice and warm until I'm ready to serve it. That's it. Bye. Enjoy. Mmm.